Movie theaters are officially open again after being shut down the past six months due to the coronavirus pandemic. AMC theaters officially started its reopening process today, opening 100 across the country, including these five theaters in Tampa Bay. But what safety procedures have changed and is it enough to keep you safe? 10 Tampa Bay asked an expert getting you answers. As AMC rolls out phase one of its reopening with new safety and cleaning measures in place, tickets are sold out. The biggest safety changes you'll now see in theaters are lower seating capacity, only allowing up to 30% of theaters to be filled, social distance seating, enhanced cleaning procedures, disinfecting high touch areas and entire theaters in between shows, and upgrading air filtration efforts, including the use of MERV 13 filters wherever possible. We wanted to know if that was enough, so we went to public health policy expert Dr. Jay Wolfson. Certainly the checkerboard seating is very important, making sure that there are controls over who goes where and when. Wolfson says all of those changes are important, but one is more crucial for indoor areas. Every day, those HVAC systems, those air conditioning and ventilation systems, really have to be checked to make sure the filters are clean, that the air is funneling in the, in the right direction. We don't want it coming from one person right to the next, uh, that is exhausting properly. Uh, that if they have any cleansing systems uh, or scrubbing systems in their ventilation systems, which some large, large, large facilities do, that they're working properly. With an effective HVAC system and a trained staff that knows how to uphold these new cleaning and safety changes, he has faith in the safety of their plan. I expect that management of AMC, they're a large company, they're very responsible, they're going to make sure that their staff are really, really well trained. Other changes to expect when you go, you and staff must wear masks. They'll also check staff temperatures daily and use contactless ticketing as much as possible.